Hey, what up, what up? Ticking Grey Bomb Watch Family. Uh, Uncle Mech's back, wishing you all a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I um, want to start off this video thanking all of you who reacted to my advice video a couple weeks back, um, looking for feedback on which G-Shock I should buy. So, happy to say um, I pulled the trigger on this guy, which we'll be unboxing today, and I'm giving you first impressions of my new G-Shock GW5000U-1, which I bought from Casio's online store. So, a little different here for us, um, since this is the first digital watch we've unboxed, but I'm very excited to take a look at this guy. Um, so, first things first, uh, as I open this box and we kind of look at what's inside. Um, look, so this is uh, a note, you know, it kind of gives away, in a way, what we're going to be looking at here. Um, so part of the, the movement is this atomic timekeeping component. Um, and again, this kind of mini operator's guide to the movement, um, gives away the fact that this is going to be a solar powered watch. And here's the, um, the operating manual for uh, the Casio module 3495. So this is a solar powered uh, movement and it's been customized for this particular watch. So we'll take a look at that. Let's see what else is in the box here. Nice metal tin, it's branded G-Shock. Okay, it has some of the, the properties of the watch, 20 bar, 200 meters water resistance. Okay, so I guess this is the international warranty card from Casio America. Printed in Malaysia. And I, there's this watch. So this is the, again, the GW5000U. Pardon the noise as I unwrap this plastic bag <laughs> it's in. But uh, here we go. Okay, so again, you can see some of the key characteristics here. Again, all the feedback was appreciated. Now, here are the things that I was really looking for in this watch. Um, I wanted something that was made in Japan. Um, happy to report this is. Um, I wanted something that was solar powered because I didn't want the, the mess and cost of changing out a battery every so often. Um, and I wanted something that had a G-Shock iconic design, which I feel that this, um, this also meets that, that criteria, right? Um, so this is a lot like the, the, the kind of the quintessential iconic uh, 5600, but it has a couple of upgrades that we'll talk about. So the other piece of the iconic design factor is that I looked at the GX56RC-1, um, figuring that could be a little bit more rugged, um, and I liked the design language there, but when, when it arrived, it was so darn big, I could never see myself wearing it. So really just kind of pivoted back to this, the, the GW5000U-1. So a couple of specs on this watch. Uh, it is uh, 40, 2.8 millimeters wide. Okay, so pretty, you know, about the dimensions, a little smaller than my Panerai uh, 001, PAM 001C. Um, it's 13.5 millimeters thick, so it's gonna have some heft on the wrist, but not it's not terrible. Um, and 48.9 millimeters lug to lug, right? Um, this has a metal case, so that's an upgrade. Uh, it says here, you know, stainless steel. Um, metal case, that's upgrade over your typical, um, your typical G-Shock um, that might be made in, in Thailand or, or another, another country other than Japan. And it has an upgraded resin uh, bezel and bracelet. Okay, so let me put this on. 
I mentioned that it has 200 meters water resistance, uh, which is obviously on par with any of your standard divers, Casio, uh, rather uh, Seiko, uh, Orient, what have you. Um, really nice fit here. Uh, really snug, very comfortable. That upgraded rubber doesn't feel cheap at all. Um, very nice feel. Um, as I mentioned, it has 200 meters water resistance. Um, it has, it's powered by this 3495 module that we kind of took a quick look at before, um, which allows you to do a lot of things here. It's, it's, it's atomic powered, right? So we're, it's aligned with the atomic clock to, to, um, to have maximum accuracy. Um, it, uh, it also has six world time settings. That's the multiband six, I believe. It has alarm chrono function, which you expect from, from your, your Casios. Um, it also has uh, mineral glass crystals. So a couple of folks have complained about that, but I mean, it's pretty standard in a G-Shock and these things are so darn tough. So I'm not gonna complain too much there. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm really looking forward to this guy. I think this is, especially for me and my collection, um, I think this is just about the perfect G-Shock that you can buy. So um, let me know your comments. Um, so as I get familiar with this watch and its functionality, um, I'll uh, come back and um, and do some, some of that feature. I'll also give you guys an impression of how I feel um, having a couple of weeks of experience with this guy. So I uh, hope you like this video. Uh, if you did, please feel free to like and subscribe so we can keep making more content like this. And again, wishing you guys all the best for 2024. Bye-bye.